Hey everyone, this is Dr. Comet64. Um, today I'm going to be doing an album review. Um, it's been quite a while since I did an album review. This is actually a Beatles album review. And this is actually going to be a re-review. Um, just a year ago I reviewed this album and I kind of want to review it again. You know, I deleted the original one because uh, I think that one wasn't worthy enough to be put on, um, on my channel. But I figured I would just possibly re-review it again. And it is the UK version of Rubber Soul. Um, this has always been one of my favorite albums from them. Um, it's probably right there in the top five, one of my favorite Beatles albums of all time, I think. Um, really, this has always been um, one of my favorite albums from, from these guys. And they really, um, you know, this was sort of the transitional album for sure. I mean, they were definitely um, way, um, way on their game. They had just released Day Tripper, We Can Work It Out, and We Can Work It Out was a number one hit um, right around the time that this album went number one. Um, this went gold, this went triple, platinum, uh, I think by the 70s, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, so I have the UK version here, and I also have the, uh, the North American release as well. And of course you can definitely tell that both of the albums, as you can tell, are very similar, but of course the color is different. This is more like a sepia tone brownish, and this is more of a red maroon. I already probably had to that in my other video that or the first ever upload of this review that I did a year ago. Um, of course, the back they're very pretty similar. Um, I think this may be a little bit more out than this one, or it could be wrong. I don't know. What do you think? Anyways, um, yeah, this is the North American Capital release. Um, as you can tell, this is definitely. Uh, beat up for sure. It has the original sleeve, so that's kind of cool. And of course the rainbow. Uh, but I wanted to just, uh, of course, review just the um, the UK release because um, I think the UK releases are a bit more better. I think um, definitely in my opinion for sure on Beatles albums because I definitely um, I definitely love more of the UK. Um, releases in the U.S., but the U.S. releases are pretty interesting too. You know, they definitely have um, you know, on the U the North American and opens up with uh, you know I'm just in a face. I mean that's a, a great Paul song. And on here you get Drive My Car the opener, and of course Drive My Car was the opener to Yesterday and Today. So um, so um, a couple of tracks on here uh, like Drive My Car, Nowhere Man, What Goes On, and um, If I Needed Someone were all on the North American release of Yesterday and Today, which was a compilation, which also featured uh, Day Tripper and We Can Work It Out. Um, it was released in June of 1966. Um, originally had the butcher cover, only because it symbolizes that they were butchering a lot of their songs off the, um, on the North American releases. Um, so you don't get those tracks on the, um, on the USA version. So, um, you know, these songs are pretty good. You know, these songs are really just, um, and it kind of, um, you know, I do kind of like, um, both of them a lot. I mean, they're definitely very unique. Um, definitely the opener, I've just seen a face and it's only love. I mean, that's another classic too, from the North America or from the, uh, the UK release of help. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. This went number one in January 1966, beating uh, The Sound of Music out of the uh, number one spot from the Billboard 200. So, um, it's a bit of fact for you there. So anyways, Day Tripper, We Can Work It Out were the singles um, that came out right around the time that this album, or I think it may have, I think, I think those singles may have came out a little bit after a couple weeks after the album, the album uh, Rubber Soul was released both in North America and the UK on December the 3rd, 1965. So this will be turning 55 years um, in a month. So anyways, um, so side one uh, opens up. Um, so UK Rubber Soul opens up with Drive My Car. I mean, what a great song. I remember back when I was a kid on oldie stations, they used to um, have the segments on... Um, you know, traffic jams and stuff and where, uh, you know, where there's, uh, 
stuff where you need to be aware of of you know accents and stuff and they'll have the beep beep and beep beep yeah they'll have that um, little part there from, from the segment and you know, anyways this is a classic song this is um, always been played on oldie stations of course this is just a marvelous song i love the rhythm guitar even the beep beep i mean they create like a horn a car's horn with their vocals and it's just a great song great song uh, next song is Norwegian Wood. Of course, it's another classic. Um, this is sort of special for the time because it has the, uh, the sitar. Um, but of course, this was the first time that they were using that. And of course, it, uh, Love You Too and uh, With and Without You, those were the other songs that were used for sitar. And um, anyways, this is another really great song, you know. Um, yeah, I've heard, you know, I remember that classic interview with Paul McCartney, or the press conference from uh, 1966, Paul's, or uh, someone's asking, oh yeah, Norwegian Wood and Day Tripper, are they about uh, prostitutes? And Paul's like, uh, yeah, I think they're about prostitutes and stuff. <laughs> so, so Paul on that. But uh, yeah, I really love the melodic, just, you know, da 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 just what a great song. Uh, the next song is You Won't See Me, uh, a Paul song. Um, I really love that kind of, uh, that, you know, the, the Ringo hi-hat kind of uh, playback there. Uh, it's really one of those, like, songs you really, uh, it's really one of those, like, songs you can't get out of your head. It's such a really, really good song. And the ooh-la-la-la, this might be a little bit corny, but um, it's, it's a really, really, uh, and the tambourine and all that stuff, it's really great. I think not most people ever talk about uh, You Won't See Me, but um, yeah. And Anne Murray covered it in the uh, uh, later 70s, I believe. Uh, the next song, what a classic, Nowhere Man. Um, I remember hearing this, um, of course, on the Yellow Submarine movie. Um, it's such a great, uh, you know, he's a real nowhere man living in his nowhere land. He always pictured Jeremy, the little guy, being the nowhere man. Um, this is like pointing towards uh, John. Of course, this is a John song, and uh, really kind of depicting of who he is. You know, really he's a nobody. I mean, kind of is like a sad kind of like eh, you know. I feel bad for this person since you know he doesn't know where to go. Um, this was a single. Um, this was actually on the. Um, I think it may have in the beginning of the video. Um, it was on yesterday and today. It was released as a single in April of 1966, and it went to number seven, I believe, or number eight. Uh, they performed this uh, a couple times during their uh, last period there of kind of touring in uh, 1966. Um, next song is Think For Yourself. This is the George Harrison song. I do love this song. It uh, kind of feels the, uh, the experimental vibe, you know. Uh, definitely for sure, especially Norwegian Wood and other. Um, this is kind of like another uh, little push to what they were going to kind of do next with um, Revolver. Um, I really like the um, the peppy kind of, uh, you know, guitars and stuff and um, and the go where you want to do or go where you want to do. Think for yourself because I'm in love with you. It's a really good song, you know. Uh, again, it's kind of one of those underrated a Harrison songs and uh, really good. Uh, the next song is The Word. Say the word and you'll be free. Say the word and be like me. Uh, it's a really interesting song. It's about uh, unity and um, love and you know all that stuff. And I definitely love that sunshine <laughs> part there. Uh, really cool. I think Paul kind of um, harmonizes in that part there. Uh, I really love the, uh, you know, the, you know, the tambourines that happen. I mean, there's a lot of tambourine and uh, a lot of tambourine work in this album. Um, really, it's one of those cool kind of songs, you know. Um, and then you get Michelle. What a classic song, man. This is just absolutely brilliant. Um, this is definitely uh, inspired of Paul's uh, influence on the French, uh, that kind of Francais. I don't know what you call it, uh, you know, uh, inspiration, you know. And uh, what a what a what a nice song. I mean, I've always loved the song, and I love the acoustics. I love uh, 
You know, the someday morn keep on him, you know, some way back on some. What a great, great just line. Really, really some great stuff on there. And the harmonies, too, when George and, uh, John and George come in. It's just a really well-crafted song. And then in side one and side two, you get what goes on in your mind. Uh, this was a, a McCartney and Lennon song. And Ringo sings it. Um, it's not one of my favorites. I mean, obviously, it's kind of like, kind of a snoozer. It's not like one of the greatest, I think, Ringo does, but uh, kind of has that little bit of a country kind of thing that he's going on there in this song. But, eh, you know, it's not one of my favorites. Then you get, oh, girl. I love the beginning. Uh, you know, is anyone going to... It's just really, really... Uh, Feels like you believe every word. He's really just giving it out to the to the listeners when you first hear the intro of the song. Um, I definitely love the bridge, the chorus as well. This is like one of those like swaying songs, you know. It is really just a little, kind of a lazy kind of layback song, and uh, a really good song. You know, I, I I always come back to listen to this. You know, the next song is "I'm Looking Through You." Uh, Believe it or not, Ringo actually does the Hammond organ. That da 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 So, uh, really cool. Um, I really love that quick uh, paced guitar kind of acoustic. Um, you know, the notes are strumming. I don't know who, I don't know if it's Paul or John. Um, and I, I just definitely love the energy, the high energy. It kind of reminds me of um, I'm Down. Uh, which was the sing which was a, a single, of course, and um, it really just has that 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 vibe, you know, that that I'm down, you know. How can you love when you know I'm down? And, yeah, they play that out in their uh, concerts and stuff, and they always it always be like the last song that they'll play. But um, a really a really great upbeat song. And what I gotta say, uh, the next song is of course uh, in my life. Uh, what a great song. I mean. This is a classic for sure. Uh, George Martin on the harmonium, I guess you call it. Just beautiful. I just love the way he plays it, the notes. It's so very melodic. Uh, very gorgeous in many ways. It's just really, uh, you know, really just like, you know, a thing that you think as you get older and you kind of uh, think of, think back of all the things he did in the past and stuff. You know, the lines, uh, there are places uh, that I remember all of my life, you know. And you always revisit those places, too, you know. So it kind of has that sort of nostalgia, you know, sound, that nostalgia feel. Um, then you get weight. It's been a long time, I've heard. <laughs> uh, I really like the, um, the cool jangly guitar thing that George kind of does, um, Really cool. It's really, uh, really another kind of one of those upbeat kind of songs, and um, and Paul comes in as well with uh, with uh, with uh, his lines too in the song. Um, as I can as good as good as I can be. Yeah, it's really really great. I mean, I think this should have been a single. <laughs> this actually this could have been maybe off of. This is pretty worthy to be on a. I would see this to be on a. You know, side two of help. You know. <laughs> um, then you get If I Needed Someone. A really great uh, Harrison song. Um, I, I love um, the live version from uh, from the Budokan concert in 1966. I think it was from July, I think. Uh, this is like one of those like really just, you know, really cool like... You know, very... Of course, going for more of the experimental sound, of course, another one of those. Um, I just love the jangly guitars. I really love the guitar rhythms, that guitar, or the the Harrison, uh, you know, that, he, he, that he's really known best for. And it's just so cool. Um, it definitely has, like, a lot of the harmonies, kind of showing them off, showing each of the guys kind of doing what what they're really shown to do, you know, what they're really best the Beatles of course and um, really great I love if I need someone uh, the last track here is run for your life uh, it's kind of an interesting song you know I kind of I like a little bit 
Uh, it's, it's something I don't come back to. Uh, I know in my original review I hated this, but I, I recently kind of heard this song a couple times. Um, it's definitely a weak track. I mean, I don't really bother to come listen to this as much. But it's kind of cool. I love uh, John's uh, Better run for your life, little girl. It's really a really interesting song. It's not one of my favorites. I mean, it's definitely a snoozer, just like what goes on. But anyways, uh, what a, I mean, again, what a classic album. Who doesn't like Rubber Soul? This is the album cover itself. It's so cool. I just love how, you know, the way they took the picture and it's all kind of, you know, kind of like leaned a little bit. Um, of course, since it's, uh, you know, UK um, release here, it's on the Parlophone label, so. That's cool. Always love the Parlophone label on a lot of these Beatle records. This is um, this uh, copy here is from the uh, 2009 remaster, but uh, they released uh, this on vinyl in 2012. So, um, anyways, great album. Always be one of my favorites for sure. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Have a great day.